then you pressing like that, then continuing to move the brush and release. Pressing, continuing, releasing, but when you release, um, you keep using less and less of the brush until you get to the uh, top of the brush. Again, pressing, releasing. Is that clear? like that, but it's your choice. You don't have to do it. If you like more detailed painting, you can do that. Look at a little bit more right here. With very thin brush, you also can draw a little bit of feathers here, like small. I don't think you see it at all. Like texture. something like that. You can mix watercolor and color pencils if you want. They work good together. The paint, the paint on the brush, uh, no, you, you need a lot of water on the brush. Then you go, put your finger like that. 
and I just tap. But you have to be careful because sometimes you get very big one. Then you can take another color and do it again. That's it. Big brush that I don't have here, but let me see. Oh, yes, I do. Um, you can water around like with really big brush and then you can do, um, let's say what color, uh, like green maybe. So you can just very lightly on top of the like where the wet um, paper is, uh -huh. it's gonna be very neutral background uh -huh. because they're gonna mix together. Yeah, that's nice. Then if it's too strong, then you can, you can go with the tissue and go on top and take all of this if it's too strong, let's say. So you get very nice, you don't see it very good, but huh. Yeah. There really no any rules. You also can if you have a plate with um, paint on it, you can dip the tissue into the paint or take the paint from the uh, put it in the tissue. So you get texture here, then you can use this texture and kinda, I need more paint. Like do something like that. There are so many, like anything that you dip into the paint makes texture. So it's ending, never ending. But with watercolors, usually it looks nice when you water the background and then you put some colors on top. You can start from one color, then mix with other and go to completely different one. Some we start with something, if you like a uh, bright color. Well, let's see about that. Then you can add green. You can leave white or you can go next to it. But the white gives a little bit air mm -hmm. to the painting. It's sometimes with watercolor, you can get a little bit too muddy and heavy if you um, don't have enough light. Okay, guys, thank you.